UAAP Season 80. If there were still any doubts if Michelle Cobb can effectively take over the starting setter role, there shouldn't be any now. Following up on her impressive showing on opening day, the 5-4 sophomore came up big down the stretch once again to cap off an amazing comeback by the Lady Spikers in set 3 to beat UP for their second win of the season. for the two-time defending champions, De La Salle University Lady Spikers. No changes for longtime head coach Ramil De Jesus, who is now in his 20th season in the UAAP at the helm for the Lady Spikers. Samantala, sa kabilang panic naman, may pagbabago sa starting unit ni Coach Godfrey Okumo. Our rookie, Abby Lim, is making her first UAAP start today. Well, you know, all these coaches, they really want to give their players the experience early on, so hopefully it, it's going to work for Coach uh, Godi Okumu. Well, we thank everybody watching right now on SNA and wherever you are around the world watching on the Filipino channel and to those watching on the number one sports website in the Philippines, sports.abs-cbn.com. Maraming maraming salamat po. And we are officially underway in this matchup between LaSalle and UP. Cobb looking for Desiree Cheng, popped up by Lim. Here comes the set. It goes to Molde and Isa Molde touching the net there on that attack. Yeah, she couldn't stop her follow through, so she goes straight into the net. And first up to serve for De La Salle University is the 18-year-old Michelle Cobb, now the primary setter for Coach Ramil De Jesus. And she's actually going to celebrate her birthday Next week, oh. <laughs> February 16th, but the 19th pa lang, it's si Michelle Cobb. And she starts off this match with a service ace. A lot of volleyball years ahead of this kid. <laughs> Imagine she was 16 when she entered La Salle. <laughs> Here she is on her second serve. It's in. Tots Carlos receives that one. Buitre with a drop ball. What a save by Miss Everywhere, Don Macandili. Isa Molde goes down the line. And just enough to register the point. Now let's see what LaSalle's thoughts are after that five-set match against USD. Let's find out from Eileen Shi. Anton at Noreen, last Saturday's five-setter gave us a preview on the team's strengths. But on the other hand, it also exposed some of our weaknesses, especially on the front line. But you know, in the dugout after the game, Coach Ramil De Jesus 
was keen on focusing on the team silver lining regardless of what happened during the match. Ayon nga sa kanya, maganda at nag-5 sets tayo ng ganito kaaga dahil nakita natin ang character at kakayahan ng ating team. This is why going into today's match, Coach Ramil only asks for one thing and that is for the girls to bring their killer instinct. Pag-apak natin sa court, isipin na agad natin, kaya namin kayong talunin. Anton at Marie. Pero sa puntong ito, lumalaban ang UP. But speaking of killer instinct, Majoy Baron, who had 19 points on opening weekend to tie her career high, gets a point right there. We gotta remember Majoy Baron, the former MVP, the reigning MVP yes. of the team. Majoy Baron, averaging 10.5 points per match during the previous year, was number 10 in the league. In scoring, here's Desiree Cheng, as you mentioned, the finals MVP last season. Carlos giving up a free ball to LaSalle. Here comes Cop, tossing it up to Tin Tin Tiamzon. Too strong on that cross court attack. Well, Tin Tiamzon would always uh, fall into that. No, you will flip, will clip. But we know we saw her in the finals. I mean, she really, oh, you know, people expected her to play the way she's playing the elimination round, but she really surpassed that. You're right, Tintin Tiamzon averaged 14 points in the finals. Yeah. Here's Lim and KKD with a denial. Now let's try to find out what UP did to prepare for today's match against LaSalle. Let's find out from Agatha Overo. Anton and Narini, di lang bilis, kundi pagkapulido ng galaw. Yan ang isang bagay na pinagtutuunan ng pansin ni Coach Godfrey Okumo sa kanilang laro ngayon laban sa Lasal. At dahil it, naging problema din nila sa kanilang huling laro laban sa UWI, ay ang kanilang lapis na pagkakumpiyansa sa kanilang pangatlong set. Sabi niya sa akin kanina na kailangan nilang manatiling agresibo sa kanilang defense at pag-atake. Ano pa man ang nakasulat sa scoreboard. Today he plans to steer things up by changing his usual lineup and adding a player from the bench. But as well as retaining some key members. Sabi nga ni coach na kung magaling sa service ang DLSU, tatapatan naman nila ng pulido at mabilis na passing. If the Lady Spikers show their strength, then the Lady Maroons plan to answer with their might. Back to you, Anton and Noreen. Thank you very much, Agatha. At nakita na nga natin ang pagbabago sa lineup ni Coach Godfrey Okumu. Abby Lim coming in to start for the very first time sa kanyang UAP career. Estranero gets it to the LaSalle side. Cop back set for KKD. Lim was there, the rookie. And Baron is able to tap it to the UP side. Back set for Carlos. And Carlos from the opposite side gets the kill. You gotta love the attitude of Lim, no? After she got blocked by Kim D back at you, you attitude now. And they get the point. And Coach Godfrey was also telling me that they need to add some power to their attack. And that is the reason why he has placed Carlos at the utility position. Cobb, that was a high set for Tintin Tiamzon. You heard Godfrey shout, wait, wait. Carlos does not wait to strike though. <laughs> Cobb, back set for KKD. Popped up, Estranero, back set to Carlos. Drop ball! And thus Carlos continues to be a force to reckon with. Yeah, that's a smart drop, realizing there's that hole in the heart of LaSalle's defense. Easy does it for Thoughts Carlos. Thoughts Carlos coming off a career high 22 points, and look at her. This is also a good matchup, Anton Carlos and Kim D. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bob. Yamzon. Blockers were there. It's going to be a free ball for UP. Buitre. Estranero. Jesma Ramos. Makandili to Kiana D. And Jesma Ramos giving us all a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, good defense there by UP showing us their blocking prowess. You know what? A lot of people were saying that UP's lack of height and their the departure of Kathy Bersola, that might be their problem, the, the blocking. But we see the blocking early on here in this match against LaSalle. Yep. I'm sure, you know, they realize that's going to be their uh, weakness because of the departure of Kathy Bersola. But if they're going to work doubly hard at that. All right, let's take a look at this last sequence right here. Yeah, good call there. Lifting violations. UP now with a 7-6 lead early on in this set. Buitre. Nesri Cheng. Cop. Standstill set to Tiamzon. 
off the block. Point for LaSalle. Well, that's a good sign for LaSalle. Din Tiamzon has to, you know, get hot early in this match. You don't want, not, not like last year, you don't want to wait for her to get her groove. She's got to work hard early. Yana D, you know, time really flies. I can't believe it's the final season in the UAB for KKD. Here's Nim and Aduke of Sanya. Second straight year as a starter gives Lasalle the lead as we head to this technical timeout. When you think about Lasalle, you think about blocking the wall that they put up above that net is so formidable that it gives opponents nightmares. And we take a look at the block kills, the kill blocks tallied by Majoy Baron and Aduke Ogansanya against USD on opening weekend. Well, this is a great wall of LaSalle. I mean, we've watched the two of them, Majoy Baron and Aduke Ogansanya, you know, go at it from game to game and really, they're really a vital part in this LaSalle offense, uh, defense. KKD looking on. Who will she target? Oh! Gets lucky there. She'll take it. Well, these three points are gifts, so why not? Yana D. Getting that one through. 9 to 7 is our tally. Ooh! That time, low on the serve. As we take a look at Coach Ramil De Jesus, 20th UAEP season for him. Can you believe that? What about that? <laughs> and how many finals appearances? Uh, fine. I'd, I'd have to double check on that. But uh, Coach Ramil De Jesus, 10 championships for De La Salle University. Wow. Oh, he's gained a lot of respect from people. You know, if even not from La Salle. Cobb. <laughs> Carlos. Rescue. Cobb tossing it up to Tiamzon. Popped up by Nim. Estraniero trying to. Rick the Lasallians on the other side of the net. A good Sanya. Cobb. Oh! Uh, bunch of scrappy plays by both teams results in a point for UP. Yeah, miscue there to be caught and uh, the good Sanya. Thoughts Carlos. And this is something that she has been trying to perfect. That jump serve. Lim. And Lim! Almost getting a point, but Makandili just too good. Well, there's always a reason why a coach would put in a, a rookie. And Coach Ramil calls a timeout. He's not happy. Oh, it's former NU Libero, one of the best to ever do it, Jen Reyes. You were asking, Doreen, about the number of uh, finals appearances yeah. for Coach Ramil. 16. <laughs> 16 now. 16 finals appearances. I salute you, Coach Ramil. <laughs> 10 championships and uh, 7 second place. As we see, 
This attack by Tots Carlos. Ooh! Tintin Tiamzon going cross court for the kill there. That's a Tiamzon we witnessed in the finals last year. Finding that seam in the blockers. They go to the other side. Cop tossing it up. Desiree Cheng. Lim. Carlos. Bakandili. Yeah. Quick attack for a good Sanya. Yeah, you be forgetting that uh, the, the middle blockers of La Salle, always an option. You gotta have one man in the back. Get comes on on your screens. Serve. Here's Jessima Ramos. What a save by Nip. Cop. Ooh! Michelle, Michelle Cobb with a little bit of Kim Fajardo in her. <laughs> Look how she how she fooled all this UP players just at the center. You know, it's it's hard to believe that. Michelle was not even recruited by LaSalle. Yeah. And Tots Carlos ties things up. Yeah, but you know, for UP, it's a good sign. Tots Carlos very consistent in serving and in her back row hit, so that's a good sign for you. So Doro coming in, and you hear the applause from the crowd, and it's because they know what Doro has been doing for UP the past couple of years. Last year, 48 sets as the Nibero throughout the season and coming off a career high 11 point outing. Cop to Cheng, drop ball. Molde pops it up. Estraniero to Ramos. And Jeff Ramos gives UP back the lead. A smart set by Estraniero, sensing that, you know, LaSalle's defense is still. Trying to find form, everybody standing and watching, and UP gets them. Ramos, back to back points for her. Yeah, LaSalle struggling in terms of first ball. Substitution area Lyle for Kenti. Now Coach Ramil making an adjustment here. Ayuk. Is now in. Yeah, for KKD. And a serve. Layuk on her first attack. Estraniero to Molde, who goes down the line. Wow. And we talked about the Molde and Carlos tandem. So far, so good for uh, UP. Wow. There were three players from La Salle getting ready for that one. Molde just blasted through all of them. What a <laughs> serve! It's a rocket like serve from Justin Doro. Layug. And she overcooks that one. UP leading La Salle 16 to 12 as we head to this technical timeout. Josette Ithai, one of the new liberos and rookies for the University of the Philippines. And of course, their new head coach, who hails from the Republic of Kenya, Coach Godfrey Okubo. Hey, <laughs> they have their own handshake. Yeah, we got to learn that. Did he just dab? <laughs> I think he just dabbed. He's learning quick. Coach Godfrey Okubo, well, he is a man who desires to learn and have a deeper understanding about the game of volleyball. He's a member 
of the Japan Scientific Volleyball Research, which is a group in Japan that studies the human movement in the game of volleyball. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's how deep he is. Yeah. <laughs> Different by you, B, but uh, for LaSalle, you gotta be pleased that stops the bleeding right there. Here's Aduke Ogonsanya. All of a sudden, the arena going silent here. Molde! Oh, still alive. And Estraniero decides to take matters into her own hands. And Baron actually owning up to that one. Yeah, I was gonna say this is a very strong front line for LaSalle. You have your finals MVP and you have your regular season MVP in front. But error there for LaSalle. Pop to Baron. And Moldes and Buitre were ready for her. A great anticipation there by UP. And if you're LaSalle, you gotta realize that the blocking of UP working for them, so you gotta cover. You gotta work double time. You know, to, to give your spikers the confidence to keep on swinging. Ayu, Cobb, to Cheng. Gods Carlos, Estranero, Desiree Cheng, calmly sending that ball back down. Yeah, great anticipation there by Desiree Cheng. She's got to calm her team down. They're down by just four. They're still in it. Shell top. Popped up by Carlos. Here's Bolde going for a drop ball. And Baron using her height to send it back down, the MVP at work. Yeah, and we, we always knew her to be a, a solid blocker, and she's really showing us there. Good anticipation. Fifteen to eighteen. In favor of UP. Molde, and now LaSalle's blocking. Very solid right there. Yeah, that, that was Baron again. Don't go too much inside. Stay out. Yeah, from the attack line, you stay out. Give space, okay? And then, guys, let's go hard. Yes. I need one pass, and then you spike. That's what I'm asking from you guys. Yes, let's go hard. Coach Godfrey telling his players the same thing he told me before this match. They need a good first ball. That's what they need to be able to steal one over the defending champions. But again, you know, same thing as what I said about LaSalle. Now La LaSalle's blocking, working for them. UP has got a cover. It's a matter really of, uh, you know, helping your teammate out. Coach hey, Erpada! Yeah. Clap, clap, clap. Letting out a nice smile after that uh, classic match against FEU, which went five sets. The UP just enjoying themselves. They're, they're playing freely right now. That, that is a good observation. <laughs> Speaking of UP, they only have one error so far in the set. And you know, LaSalle has seven crazy errors. Okay, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> How quick? <laughs> Desiree Cheng. Desiree Cheng made the number change from six to two last season. It resulted in a championship. So she sticks with it. And sticks a service ace to UP right there. Yeah, Desiree Cheng also known to be a solid server. And LaSalle just down by one. Tim Tim Zon. At the net for LaSalle, joined by Layuk and Baron. 
Carlos. Cobb puts it up in the air. Buitre, Estraniero to Carlos. And, oh! Look at Don Macandili. Um, he, he gotta admire the effort of Don. That's why she's missed every, everywhere. Yeah. She really... Maski saan pumunta yung bola, hahabulin niya ni Don Macandili. And uh, she even... Lasal, pinangga ng ka-teammate ko in Arab. So, interference tayo. Okay, and interference was, was called on Shao, Patricia Shao. Oh, well, you gotta see this one more time. Kahit malayo, inaabol na interference kasi na nire-recover. Kahit hindi sinasadya yun, inarangan niya, interference siya. Di ba? Okay, maski hindi sinasadya, you gotta give a chance to the opposing team to have a path to dig that ball back up. But it's all good between Don and Patricia as they acknowledge each other after that collision. Yeah. So, what's the lesson to be learned there? Okay. If it's out, just get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're playing against Don Macandili. Yeah. And uh, looking at that replay, the very young Patricia Shaw was really looking up at the ball as it was going down. She did not see yeah, that's true. the charging miss everywhere. <laughs> and just like that, we are tied at 20 all. Oh, you learn something new every day. Always focused, Majoy Baron. And she gets that service ace. Nasal now showing us their composure towards the end of this first set. Ball there. Dorob. Carlos gives up a free ball to Lasal. Cobb. Layo. Buitre was there for the denial. Yeah, good anticipation there by Buitre. You gotta love, you know, the blocking of both teams on point in this first set. What a start yeah. to our second match on this Saturday. Cobb. Yep, so Iniwasa, the mga blockers. Yeah, she's showing us that she is a veteran already. <laughs> Kissing it up. <laughs> 22 to 21. Kim Kianadi is back in the match. For the defending champions. Over received by the rookie, Shao. Doro. Carlos. Macandini. Cobb. Agonsanya reaching. Three ball for UP. Estranero back set to Carlos. Macandini was there. And no way UP is going to. Be able to track that one down. Yeah, two point cushion there. For now, for the Sal. Now, Coach Godfrey calls a timeout. Relax. Don't panic. We need that pass. It's very important. You know what to do with the ball. Okay? Guys. We need that pass. Let's go, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maroon! No, son, we lost. We need that service. Coach Godfrey Okubu, a man with over a decade of coaching experience, a former national player also for Kenya, and of course, we have a very familiar face who is now wearing green, yeah. Michelle Morente. It took me a while to get used to it. I'm not yet used to it. <laughs> well, Michelle Morente serving her residency now for De La Salle University.
last year's leading scorer for Ateneo, where she averaged 12.3 points per match. Oh, regalo! Para kay Tim Tiamzon. Putos para sa Lasal. Yeah, again, on Lasal, it was a very close first set, but near towards the end, they're really showing us that why they're the defending champions. So Lasal now with a chance to make this first set against UP, KKD, Molde, Carlos. Shao will give up a free ball to Lasal. Cobb, who will she go to? Tim Tim Tiamzon! Cross court for the kill! Tim Tiamzon playing big for De La Salle, especially in the latter part of the first set. The defending champions starting off this matchup with a victory in set number one, 25 to 21. We'll be back for set number two. You're watching season 80 of the UAAP right here on SNA. You're watching our live coverage of season 80 of the UAAP as we continue to go for great in the women's volleyball tournament. UP and Lasal, both teams starting off on fire in this match. Once Carlos getting herself going, Isa Molde as well for the Lady Maroons. Cobb showing us uh, some tricks up her sleeve. And uh, in the end, the Lady Spikers were able to pull away to take that first set. Yeah, like we, we keep saying it, no? it was a very close first set. Both teams blocking well, digging well. But at the end, really, it's the end game. LaSalle is proving to be a stronger team towards that end and the uh, end of the first set and in terms of numbers i gotta mention i gotta mention unforced errors lasalle we talked about the errors early on already okay unforced errors lasalle eight to four but this was in the early stages of the first set they were able to mini minimize their errors towards the end attack points 11 to 9 block points 5 to 3 all went the south way but this service as well the 5 to 1 happened at the last part of the first set wherein they pulled away to actually win the set and that was also one of the key factors in the south's victory against usd wherein they had 10 service aces so they've already tallied half of that here in just one set against up and in terms of scoring, pretty balanced scoring for both teams. For LaSalle, Baron with five. Yamzon with six. Cop with three of points of her own. D with three. For UP, Carlos with four. Ramos with three. Molde with two. And Buitre with three. So pretty balanced, balanced scoring, which is what you want to see from both teams. There you see Michelle Cobb, who came from St. Scholastica High School in Manila. As I said, she was not recruited by LaSalle. She did get recruited by FEU but wanted to stay close to home and uh, sinabi niya sa akin na naglalakad lang daw siya sa sports complex ng Lasal at nagkataon nagja-jogging yung Lady Spikers and former Lady Spiker Carl Cerveza told her that Coach Ramil wanted her to try out and she tried out and the rest is history yeah. and now she's starting yeah I mean imagine that uh, what are the chances of you just walk into the sports complex and see the Lady Spikers, Lady Spikers seeing you and asking you to try out, and here you are. Serendipity. <laughs> <laughs> and here she is, tossing it up to D for the point. Yeah, we're, we, we really expect a lot more for Kim D, scoring three points in the first set, but was taken out by Coach Ramil, so here in the second set, we're gonna hit, say more of her name. Desiree Cheng, finals MVP, looking uh, more and more steady here in UAP Season 80. Also, what's nice about Desiree Cheng right now, she's healthy in terms of her injuries, yeah. not nursing anything, so she's playing well for LaSalle. She seems more, uh, more calm now. Uh, because remember, remember last year she was very uh, uh, energetic every time she got a point. So now it's more calmed down. As Tiamzon able to blast that one through. Let's go back to Eileen Chi for this report. 
Anton Actorin, bawat team ay binibigay na sakripisyo, maliit man yan or malaki. As for Lady Spikers, Desiree Cheng and CJ Saga, they both traded in their togas today for some minutes on court. These two skipped their graduation rights earlier today to ensure that their team emerges victorious in today's match. Kaya naman, in order to maintain the momentum, assistant coach Noel Arculio reminds the team to keep calm and control the ball. With this, we hope that the Lady Spikers will be able to make the necessary adjustments to ensure that they take set number two, Anton and Doreen. That's right. Uh, thank you very much, Eileen. Um, congratulations to uh, Desiree Cheng. But... Uh, for graduating, pero ito nga yung commitment nila ni Desiree at ni CJ uh, to be a part of this UAP women's volleyball team. And then people always say, you know, graduation from university happens once. Yeah. So, <laughs> mas binili pa talaga yung, uh, yung sport. That's love of the game for you. All right, let's go now to the other side in here from Agatha Overo. Anton and Noreen, it's not about fancy plays, it's about precision for perfect sets and precise hits. Back to basics, ika nga sabi ni coach, at para sa kanya, importante na magsimula sa mga fundamentals or yung mga simple bagay na kailangan nila kayusin. At yan ay tulad, ayan, tulad, tulad ng mga patterns ng passing at ang kanilang posture. Masaya rin siya sa pinapakita ng mga players ngayon dahil kahit na lumamang ang lasal, pinidikitan pa rin nila ito. Pinailala niya sa kanila na huwag mo na, muna magpanik. Ba tap matapos ang huddle, meron siyang sinabi sa team captain na si Tots Carlos. Sabi niya, I want you to go hard. That's what you're meant to do and that's what you're made of. The instructions are set and expect exactly that. What do you think, Anton and Noreen? Well, I think Tots Carlos is following the instructions to the T. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, when Agatha was delivering her report, Carlos was able to score against two blockers. At pagkatapos ng report, ito ang ginawa niya. Oh. <laughs> On cue. But well, she knows that you know she's gonna have to step up her squad. Sayang for them, for UP, the first set could have been there. So moving forward, we gotta fight here in the second set. Here's Estraniero to Carlos, who goes down the line once again. And that's against one of the best blockers in the UAAP, that's Majoy Barot. With Kip D beside her. Uh, the mother of uh, Ayel Estraniero. And we do uh, uh, notice the support of the parents. That's why from time to time, pinapakita po namin yung mga yeah. uh, magulang na mga pinamahal nating student athletes who are always in attendance. Here's Ayel. Top. KKD. Finding that angle. That's the patented Kim Kiana D angle there. Carlos with seven points already here in this match. Six coming from attacks. Estraniero. Molde flying in for the kill. A bit, Molde a bit quiet in today's match, getting a few kills, and this should boost her morale. Isa, Molde. Five points now in the match for Isa. Here's Tiamzon, and Tiamzon breaks down the wall. Uh, don't really Tiamzon. We, we can see her improvement from last season. That's, a, that's really a good sign for this Nassau program. Kiana D. Estraniero. Makandili. Here's Cheng hitting it from the back row. Yamzon. Cop. Still alive. Ball there. And the rally continues. It's a wild one. Yamzon. Too much spice on that spike. And UP heads into this technical timeout, leading LaSalle. 8 to 6. We'll be back.
As I mentioned earlier, Tots Carlos scored a career high 22 points in the last match. And we continue to see her power, her powerful spikes here in this match against the LSU. And she will be really very important for UP. They, she is the captain. They're looking to her for leadership. So, so far, so good for you. Once again, we thank everybody watching right now on SNA. We are also seen live on Liga and the HD channels as well for SNA. That's Sky Cable Channel 166. And for Liga HD, that's 183 on Sky Cable. Yanadi in her fifth season along with Majoy Baron and Don Makandili. So there is that sense of urgency. There is that motivation for the rest of their teammates to help them graduate as champions. Wow, what a dig. Bacantini. Toro, Estraniero. Here's Carlos. Bacantini gets it in the air. Yamzon, cross court. Popped up from the back row. Here comes Carlos again. Cheng gets it back in the air. Lasal is getting the strong spikes back. Yeah. Estraniero, back to Carlos. Oh, one more time. Bob. Keeps the ball in play. Estraniero, back to Carlos. <laughs> she won't stop. She won't quit. That's Carlos. Well, you got to give it to the defense of La Salle. I mean, even if there were free balls, they were getting the, the spikes back. But this time, Carlos will not be denied. But you know, I was watching Don Macandini. I think that was a fourth or fifth attempt of UP. Finally, with that kill, she gave, came up with a big smile, a huge grin. <laughs> Even her said, finally, you got your point. Yamzon. Easy does it for Tint Yamzon. Yamzon showing us it doesn't have to be powerful. A point is a point. Sir Tint Yamzon. Yamzon averaged 8.4 points per match. In the previous season. Wow. And Carlos goes cross court. Carlos is in the zone here in the second set. Nine points now in the match for Diana May Carlos. Carlos. Bungie Bar, Obar Sasaya. Yep, they've got their handshakes. Bit of a heat check there. <laughs> Here's a duke. Oh, service error there for a duke. But you know what, on prior to that, we got to give it to the services of both teams. Both teams Justin serving well, you know, putting pressure on the first ball of the opponent. Well, aside from that error, though, by Aguansanya. Oh. So service errors. Teams trading service errors here. Norok just giving that right back to La Salle. Shell Cobb back to the service line. Estraniero. Cobb. Macandini. KKD. Yep, changing directions there. Nobody home for UP. And after that point, almost every lady spider on the floor was pointing at Dawn. As if to say, that was made possible by you. Yeah. This spike was brought to you by Don Macandini. <laughs> <laughs> Estraniero. Molde. Macandini gets it in the air. Back set by Cobb. Here comes D. And she puts it away. Yeah, it's all look now. LaSalle has tied this game. That's eight points now. For D.
And Michelle Cobb with a service ace. No, this is, I think, the strongest front row for De La Salle, so they have to take advantage of this. Kim D, Majoy Baron, and Desiree Cheng in front. Michelle Cobb now has six service aces for the season because she had four during the previous match. Well, that was her seventh now. And third for the match. Wow. You have to make proper choices. So what you'll do, you move to the other side. Right? Yeah, you also go to the other side. Then you go for A, then you use you on the other side. Okay? You go left. Okay? Relax. Don't panic. The sub is it's also complicated. She's having in, out, in, out. So you, have, you should be able to judge that. You help us with the short balls. Then you go to the long. Michelle Cobb only had two points for the entire season last year. Now for this season, well, she had six in the first match and five today. So, nalampasa na. Career. Here comes D. Estraniero tossing it up to Balde. D and Baron were there. Yep, on. Cop to Cheng. What an angle there by Desiree Cheng, finding that hole. You know, she says that Estranera is a smaller blocker, finding that, that little hole in the blocker's hands. Fourteen to eleven. And Michelle Cobb with service ace number four matching her output during the previous match. Really a contender for best server in the season. Michelle started her sporting career as a swimmer at the age of six before switching to, vo to volleyball at the age of nine. Bob, oh, a kabangaan. Don't see that very often. Substitution Maris Lyon for Jessma Ramos. Maris Lyon. Ayub now in for UP. Boy, good serve. Ah, back set to check. And check. So she, she's just, you know, she's acting like she, she does it every day. <laughs> mga she does. Points na yon. <laughs> 16 to 12. In favor of LaSalle here in set number two. We'll be back. It is the month of February, which means it's the month of love. It's February 10 right now. And to those who still don't have any plans for Valentine's Day, well, we have a suggestion. Uh, for you guys, you can check out Kidzanya Manila on February 15th from 6 to 11 p.m. You can relive your favorite high school game booths as they come back to life. And uh, you can check out more information on ktx.abs-cbn.com and get the early bird, early bird rate until tomorrow, February 11th. Estraniero. Baron. And Majoy Baron, the MVP, gets another point for LaSalle. UP now in, a, in disarray. Oh, that's the sister of uh, Desiree Cheng. Janelle, yeah. who won a championship for the College of St. Benil, wearing jersey number two. And that's the reason why Desiree wears jersey number two as a tribute to her ate, Janelle. 
Well, you know, I thought UP, they're far from, far from, they're playing far from how they were in the first set, wherein, you know, they were neck and neck with the South. Right now, they're just, they seem to just be looking at each other. Somebody's got to take charge, really. Carlos, Dorob, free ball for LaSalle, Cobb, tossing it up to Tiamzon. Estraniero and Buitre were there for the denial. Now finally, that stops the bleeding for UP. They want to mount their, you know, some sort of a rally here in the second set. Yamzon, Cobb, D, stepping on the brakes before spiking that volleyball. Carlos, Estraniero, ooh, what a save by Cobb. Estraniero, back to Carlos, off the block. Kim D was there, they read that pretty well, but smart hit by Carlos, tooling it off the block. But Ramil calls a timeout. That, uh, you know, we've got to get this point. Shanera is a good server. Try to get over this hump. He doesn't want to give anything the yeah. chance. No? Time out, Kagan. That's the sense that he's going to be a good UP. Yamzon. Guitre and Molde that time rising up for the block. Yeah, Damzon not listening to Coach Ramil. <laughs> he specifically told her this is where you target. It's AL. And Bakadili evading the ball as it went out. Great read by Don. Back to four for LaSalle. We see Gemma Galanza and Eli Soyud fresh off their five-set win against FEU. Well, the LaSalle players were actually chanting Eli, Eli while uh, watching uh, Adamson play earlier. Uh, for those who don't know, Soyud actually came from LaSalle. Yeah. Galanza had 26 points earlier. Monster numbers. 20 to 15. In favor of LaSalle here in set number two, Estraniero. Carlos. Free ball goes to LaSalle. Cobb to D. Here's Carlos. A good Sanya pops it up. Cobb setting it up for Tiamzon. What a save yeah, by yeah. last year's Nebero. Carlos. Great anticipation by D. And she will get. An opportunity to strike. Estraniero gets the ball in the air. Free ball for Nassau. Cobb tossing it up for Tiamzon who goes down the line. Dorog was there. Carlos. And but Carlos powering that one through for the point. But you got to applaud both teams for that rally. High quality, high class volleyball for you. That's what 48 sets played as a libero can do. That's true. <laughs> oh, good Sanya. D. 
Ayel. Here's Carlos. And that's a net touch right there on Lasal. UP coming back here. Wouldn't be surprised for another timeout by Coach Ramil. There you go. Well, communication is key, we know that. And Coach Ramil just reminding his girls that that's what lacks right now. They're, down, they're up by three, but he wants to win the second set, obviously. But so does this man, Coach Godfrey Okumu. He feels that his team has the momentum right now. Pop. Back set for D. Estraniero will chase that one. Carlos. And Carlos uh, do right away. And that ball was going nowhere. That's, that's nerve setting in for Tots Carlos there. So an interesting move right here. Cobb is going to sit. Layu came in for her. As D comes up with an ace. Don't pass the other player from who is in behind, the libero, like this. You're standing like, so be careful. Yeah, that's why I was calling you. You're back, yes, but the other guy is in front. So, yeah, yes, she's in front, so be careful, okay? All right, so guys, relax. Be careful, don't be caught out of position. It's very important that. Oh! Very specific with his instructions, Coach Godfrey Okubo. Now, I was looking at the lineup of LaSalle, and it states that the backup setter, because it says setter slash libero, is CJ Saga. But Saga is not on the floor. <laughs> Cobb is not on the floor, so it looks like Layuk is going to play setter here. Let's see. Or Desiree Chang. Oh, that's oh, right. I don't know. Because Des does have history of playing that position. Yeah. So, napakaaga dito sa season na ito. Uh, Coach Ramil putting in a very interesting lineup. Combination of players here on the floor for LaSalle. Serve. Estradiero. Carlos breaks down the wall. Uh, that should build her. Confidence right there. Now CJ Saga will come in. He's coming in for Kim D. So if we're going to follow what what is stated in the lineup, she's going to play center yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. She's there now. She's uh in place. And that makes it all the more intriguing because we will never know whether Nayug would have played center or not. <laughs> <laughs> or whether it would have been Chen yeah, or yeah. Nayug. <laughs> well, we gotta move on. We'll never know nga naman. Asarte, good serve. Saga, back set for Tiamzon. Wow, what an angle there by Tim Tiamzon. And you can see the reaction of CJ Saga. She loved that one. This team's not really playing big for LaSalle today. LaSalle at set point. Yamzon short on that serve. Let's 
Still four set points for LaSalle. As a rookie, Saga was in the barrel. But now we see her as a setter. Back set to Layuk. Estradiero. Carlos. Wow. Yupi still breathing here. Just enough top spin to get that through. Now Cobb is in for Layuk and CJ was looking at Coach Ramil and Coach Ramil was telling her to dig. Yeah, for defensive purposes. And there, there doing, doing exactly what Coach Ramil told her. Cheng. Cobb. Back to Desiree Cheng who goes down the line. Carlos. Agonsanya. Cobb. To Cheng. What a save there by Thai. Cobb, quick attack. And Thai with the save. Dorog. Makadini. Cheng. Oh. UP will get the point. And that's not the line that's not in it. UP's gonna get that. Cobb! Michelle Cobb! What a reaction on the second touch! That's taking a base off of Kim Fajardo's book. You have to have 100% focus and attentiveness to be able to pull off something like that. Michelle Cobb, the sophomore setter, with some magic to end the second set. We'll be back for set number three. This is UAB Season 80 Women's Volleyball on SNA. You're watching our coverage of UAB Season 80. UP, they've been fighting all throughout, but LaSalle just too much and able to have that finishing kick towards the end of each of the first two sets. That's why they are up two to nothing. Well, I think LaSalle really playing more solid or more cohesive as a squad. A lot, everyone contributing to the cause. Of course, we gotta salute Michelle Coffer playing a great game so far, showing us that she's not, you know, she doesn't play like a rookie or just a sophomore. It's like, you know, she, it's like Fajardo has been helping her ever since and she's playing well. But for UP, they got to remember how they played in the first set. They talked, they communicated, their heart was there. Obviously, in the second set, that's what lacked. Their teamwork and their communication. Now, let's take a look at the numbers right here. And the service aces continue to be one of the main improvements for LaSalle here in this season. They now have 10, which is the same amount that they tallied in their win against USD. Yeah, the numbers actually very consistent to that in the first set. The strength of LaSalle services, obviously, that's the weakness of UP. Coach Okomu kept saying, pass, I need your pass. But LaSalle, their weakness, unforced errors, committing a lot of a lot more unforced errors than UP. So that's what they want to focus on, minimize their unforced errors. Here's Molde. And Molde gets the first point for UP here in set number three. Yeah, speaking of Molde, so far in this match, just five points. Carlos with 13 points and uh, Buitre with five points also. And I was talking about the balance scoring of LaSalle. Tiamzon with 10. Kim D with 10. Baron Cobb with seven points apiece. And Cheng with five. So really balanced scoring for LaSalle. Carlos. You know, the players are uh, getting a kick out of uh, <laughs> really wanting to save all of those loose balls. What the crowd loves. The effort. Yeah.
Estraniero to Ramos and Makadiri. Unable to get that one up properly as we go back to Agatha Overo for this courtside update. Anton and Nori, napapahaba ang usapan ngayon sa huddle dahil mayroong mga adjustments na ginagawa ang Lady Maroons. According to Coach Godfrey, you have to be focusing on the first ball, run the plays, and let the spikers do the work in order to force errors on the LSU. You know, Anton and Nori and the Lady Maroons have had two tune-up games this week in order to prepare mentally for today. Naipakita na ng team na ito na ang sistema nila ay effective. Pero ngayon, pinapakita naman nila kung papaano sila magdiskarte. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Noreen. Maraming salamat, Agatha. Well, we'll see if uh, those two tune-up games will pay off here. Because right now, Lasal with a two sets to nothing lead against the Lady Maroons. Yamzon. Cobb. Joust at the top. Back set for Carlos. And Don Carlos is able to get the point. You know one thing I noticed also from this UB squad? We haven't felt the offense of Marian Buitre. I mean, we followed her career and we know what, we, what she can do. But so far, I haven't... Obviously, uh, Estranero hasn't been going to her. Maybe she got to think about that to... Uh, you know, change things up. Top. Makadili. And there's a block from the UP side as we hear now from Eileen Shi. Fast and technical, Anton and Noreen. This is how the Lady Spikers describes the UP Lady Maroons. They know that this team loves taking quick hits, which is why they're also having a hard time maintaining a big lead because they are not used to the game's pace. Now that they're only a set away from winning, team captain Majoy Baron describes her team and tells their team to relax and to wag sabayan ang tempo nila. Given this adjustment, the Lady Spikers hope that they could secure the third set as they did both CJ Saga and Desiree Cheng a happy graduation. Anton and Doreen. Thank you very much, Eileen. And um, CJ Saga and Desiree Cheng have made quite the impact uh, in this uh, match today. Even yeah. playing setter is si CJ Kanina. <laughs> Maganda rin yung kanyang uh, toss kanina, which resulted in a point. Now you were talking about Buitre. Buitre has got five points. Uh, had seven in the previous match. So... But, but you, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. We haven't really felt uh -oh. their offense. And maybe she heard you. There you maybe go. she heard <laughs> you. <laughs> On cue! <laughs> no, but really, I mean, remember... From two seasons ago to last season, she has been an option in offense. But today, I think that's her first or second legitimate kill. Not block. Here's Isa. Cheng. Cobb tossing it up to Tiamzon. Oh, good dig. Carlos. And so yes. Carlos breaks down the wall. How did she get that through? That's a very tiny space between Kim D. Ogunsanya and the net, and she powers that through. One of the most powerful spikers we have here in the UAP. Molde sends that one wide. Now that's a problem of UP in today's match. They'll score some points, but they also break their own momentum with a service error. Last year's seventh best score. Uh oh. Three point for the champions. To seventeen and libero. Hindi yung libero mo nag overlap na sa likod yun na kita ng second repre natin. I think she's 
doing that on purpose already. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time Kim D kissed it off the net. And now she's got 11 points in this match, three coming from the service line. Kim Kiana D. Dorog. And Makandili trying to cook up a pancake there. And Yupi again for the third straight set. Heads into the technical timeout with the lead. They're up 8 to 6. Well, we have been feeling the excitement and the energy inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center. And of course, one of the things that uh, we are looking for in Season 80 of the UAAP are fans who really show extraordinary love for their favorite UAP teams. And she is definitely enjoying her official licensed UAP merchandise. I want one! Yeah, it's, it's UP themed. Uh, I, I think she's got a power bank there. Yeah. And uh, all these items are available on www.uapstore.com. And we thank everybody watching right now on SNA. Yeah, I'd like to uh, greet Coach Benji Hernandez watching right now, our former coach. coach of, former coach of uh, UP tuning in and, of course, cheering for the Lady Maroons. And Lady Maroons looking good right now here in set number three as they try to stay alive. Well, last year in the first round, UP shocked everybody in the women's volleyball tournament by sweeping Lasal in their first round meeting. Pero nakabawi naman ng Lasal sa second round, beating UP in straight sets. Here's Dorog. Yeah, Justin Dorog finding herself right beneath that volleyball. A little space there. We are tied once again. All day. And Carlos is able to get another point. Yeah, you know, we talked about the balance scoring of La Salle. UP, it can't be just all thoughts, Carlos. Yeah. All this got to really bring in the numbers as well. Carlos has got 17 right now to lead all scores here in this match. Desiree Chek! Eight points now for Desiree. All the numbers there. There's a Duke. Bye. Carlos from the back row. Doro. Estraniero back to Doro. Cheng pops it up. Baron setting it up for Cheng, who oh, goes the down the line. Ramos. And Ramos gets the point for UP. These are silent points, but much needed for UP. Effort though by Kim B. Cobb, Baron, Carlos was there. Here's Molde, and Molde gets the point for UP. She doesn't, you know, Isa Molde does not like easy sets. She wants the harder ones. That's eight points now for Isa. Pop. Ramos. And Ramos is feeling it right now. Well, the challenge right now for UP is to try to maintain this fight in them. They got to win this if they want to extend this match to at least the fourth set. Makandili. Cheng. I was there. Quick attack for Ramos. And Majoy Baron says, not that time. Well, the coverage of UP not there. They were caught watching. Of 
course, against a Majoy Baron, you gotta come. Right? <laughs> Here's Cobb. Back set. Ramos with the point. Making up her previous. Not even an error into the blockers. Wow. Here's Cobb. Cheng. Ball there. D. Oh! <laughs> LaSalle scrambling here. Yeah. Well, heads up play there by Estreniero. Just spiking it over. Correct myself, partner, on yes. the, what I mentioned earlier. You were asking about the finals appearances. Coach Ramil has had 17 finals appearances, 10 championships, and seven second place finishes. And we see Wench too. Yeah. That, that ain't bad, no? The, uh, that record you know, of Coach Ramil. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> So, lumalabas, dalawang beses lang siyang hindi umabot sa finals. Uh, boy, what a track record. 15 to 10. Favor of UP here in set number 3. Cobb, tossing it up. D. A pancake cooked up by Carlos. Still alive. Here's D. Doro. Molde and Isa Molde with an Isa amazing play. Yeah, but you gotta give credit to Carlos for that wonderful thing there, keeping the ball alive. There you go. That's Isa Molde. That point for UP. You're watching our live coverage of UAP Season 80 right here on SNA as the UP fans have come alive. And even the players on the sidelines. Very energetic. As they feel they have a chance to steal one away from the defending champions. Yep. Some glimmer of hope for UP. But of course, they better not relax because we know LaSalle will just be right there. Molde! Getting another one through while spiking from a distance. Molde right now playing big for UP, which is what they need. That's 10 points in the match for Isa. Cobb, Cheng, and Desiree Cheng gets it off the hands of Molde. Ever reliable, that's Cheng in today's game. Cheng's got nine points here in this match. Carlos. Molde sends that one long. It's still a five point lead by UP. They gotta check their unforced errors here. He don't wanna give LaSalle three points and give them 
a momentum to get back here in the set. What a serve by Descheng. Here's Carlos. Kemzon. Desri Cheng. Thai. Estraniero. Quick attack for Buitre. What a save by Dorog. Here's Molde. Buitre. Makandili was there. D! Well, Nassal is fearless. Really. And now Coach Godfrey calls a timeout. Patuloy na hinihingi ni Coach Godfrey Okubo ang magandang passing on that first ball. And of course, a lot of trust on his two powerful spikers, Isa Molde and Tots Carlos. Yeah, the one-two punch of the Lady Maroons. What about Des Cheng in today's game? Nine points for her. Molde. Coach Godfrey told her to keep spiking. Makandili! The break for UP. Here's Ayel. Wow. But that is. And you see the way she pointed. She knew the moment she hit that ball, it was going to stay in. And now Coach Ramil calls a timeout. You know what, partner? I, I've been wondering this since last year. What is Don Makandili made of? <laughs> well, you know, it's like she has a pool. She's like diving into water, although there's no water available. Because I can only imagine how painful it is to do that. I mean, diving all over the floor numerous times. It's it's buis buhay volleyball. Yeah. yeah, you know, really, you train for this, the dives, and you know, it's the after the game that hurts really, especially if you do it so much the way as uh, Macandiri does it. Cobb tossing it up for Tiamzon. Boy, these outside hitters of LaSalle just smart hitting, always tooling it off the blockers. Down by four. Here's Carlos. And now LaSalle slowly inching closer. To UP here. Yeah, which is, you know, it's a trend for UP. They'll build the lead, but they'll have their own unforced errors. Carlos. Cobb. To Aduque. Dorog was there. Puitre. Smart set there by Estraniero. Puitre is actually not the first option of UP, so LaSalle caught unaware. So now Marian Quitre has matched her 
output against UE, their first match of the season with seven points each. Pop. Yamzon. Popped up by Molde. Here comes Carlos. No check. Yeah. But you know, if you're a player, I thought you don't want to rely on check balls. Because a lot of times, good no call. A lot of times, it's judgment call. So. Now, maybe we'll find out whether Nayug will really set for La Salle or <laughs> okay, not. She's okay. back in for Cobb. But from the looks of it, she will. See. Kiana D with an ace. That's her fourth ace of the match. Yeah, and how time there? I said correct it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's Carlos. There you go. You want a check ball? Make it an obvious check ball. Now, Basarte coming in. For UP, as we take a look at this JRS Express play of the game, courtesy of Carlos. It will be Cheng who's setting, so you're right, partner. Desiree Cheng. She's everywhere. You don't see that every day, uh, that type of substitution, just bringing in one. And now Sa Saga is back. It's graduation day for her and Desiree Cheng. But they're on the court for LaSalle. Saga to Cheng. The two graduates collaborating there, but UP with some solid blocking. Yep, they're keeping it here, especially in this third set. Oh, and a serve, but what good reception there. And that's good for UP. And Coach Rabel is trying to clarify that with the Knightsman. All right, let's take a look at it here. From that angle, it looks good. And, and... This is the record. This is the assistant coach. He's got a line judge. 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 That, that okay. call, no? For rude conduct, the first referee really will issue a yellow card. Meaning when you curse or when you try to com excessive complain, not through your team captain. So in this case, the first referee saw one of the, I don't know, assistant coach, I didn't really mention who, curse the line judge. So that's a rude conduct and thus a yellow card. Just to clarify. All right. Cobb to check. Estratero to Dorob. 
Cobb goes to Aduque. Here's Carlos. Wow. Another heroic dive from Don Bacardini. Cobb tossing it up to Cheng. And Desiree Cheng gets the point for Lasalle. Well, one effort by both teams, Makandili, Tons Carlos. But in the end, Desiree Cheng just using her volleyball smarts to get that point. How big is Desiree Cheng for Lasalle right now? She's got 10 points. Oh. And Aduke with an ace. You can't be tentative. You, if you get you want to receive, you receive it. If you want to make it out, let it go. It's a long distance target. So you stay low. If you stay low, you keep passing over your head. Okay, so let's be able to judge. Carlos, on the inside out. Okay? So we need to pass. Okay? Well, based on that huddle, expect the toss to go the way of Tots Carlos, which Godfrey needs a point. Here's a Duque. 16 service aces during the previous season. What a serve. Balde. Baron. Estranero. Todorog. Sent back. Carlos. What a save by CJ Saga. Yeah. Carlos again. Coach Godfrey needs a side out. Still alive, Anton. Dorog, one more time. Cobb tossing it up. Desiree Cheng. And UP with her blocking. Gets the set point. Now I'm getting goosebumps for both teams. You gotta love the way they're fighting for each ball, both LaSalle and UP. But that time UP gets the point, but hands off to the efforts of LaSalle. UP with a chance to take this set from the back-to-back -back champions. Cobb to Baron. And set point save. C is back on the floor. So it's a front line of Cheng, D, and Baron. Cobb. Estraniero to Molde. No touch. Two straight points for Lasalle. One of the best servers on the Lady Spiker squad. Four service aces in each of the first two matches. But she exceeds that one. What a time for that to come. And that is off the libero. Her fifth service ace today. Michelle Cobb. Twenty-four all. And another service ace from Michelle Cobb. Unbelievable. Now they have match point. That was a quick run for LaSalle. The former swimmer who switched to volleyball in the fifth grade gets another service ace. Can you believe it? Michelle Cobb. Well, people say you can't serve for the match. You really can serve for the match. And that's what Michelle Cobb just did for LaSalle.
What a comeback for De La Salle University in set number three. You know, really, La Salle, this could have gone UP's way, especially in the third set. But again, La Salle continuing to show us why they're the defending champions and why Coach Ramil has his track record and why his team is always a force to be reckoned with. So that was five straight points from La Salle and the last three were service aces from Michelle Cobb. What a game for Michelle Cobb. And what a moment for the back-to-back -back champions. We'll be back to put the finishing touches on this straight sets victory by De La Salle University. And we have arrived at the conclusion of this second matchup on this UAP Volleyball Saturday where De La Salle University Lady Spikers prevailed over the University of the Philippines Lady Maroons in straight sets 25-21, 25-22, uh, and 26-24. And of course, Michelle Cobb, seven service aces today a total of 10 points for the sophomore. Yeah, how big was she? Especially the stretch of that third set. This could have gone four sets, but Michelle Cobb showing us that she can play.